Five for 33 from James Whale helped Durham fight back against Warwickshire on day three, ending with the upper hand in the match. Warwickshire had begun the day seeking to build on a first innings lead of 123, but Wheel dismissed Umid early for seven. New batsman Ian Bell played some lovely shots to help build the Bears' lead alongside Baron Chopra. Bell was to make a promising but ultimately unfulfilled 15 from 20 balls, falling LBW to Wheel. Chopra kept going though, striking more boundaries as he sought to build a partnership with new man Jonathan Trott. But he went to Barry McCarthy for 34. Trott then sought to rebuild but lost a partner when Sam Haynes' poor form continued, bowled by wheel for just six. The very next over saw Trott caught off Bryden Cass for 26, Warwickshire rocking at 95 for 7. And the lower order couldn't rescue the hosts. Tim Ambrose out for a duck to wheel. Keith Barker caught off Graham Onions. And wheel securing figures of 5 for 33 when dismissing Hannon Dolby. Warwickshire 114 all out, just three batsmen reaching double figures. Durham clearly had the momentum, and openers Mark Stoneman and Keaton Jennings continued that with the bat. As the visitors reached 67 without loss at T, Jennings the more assertive of the two. Warwickshire fought back in the early evening though through four wickets from Chris Wright who started by dismissing Stoneman for 23. He then took two wickets in the same over, Borthwick bowled for four and Burnham out for a four ball duck. When Michael Richardson was caught off right for just eight, Durham had suddenly lost four wickets for just 20. Jennings had witnessed the collapse from the non-striker's end, but remained solid himself, and he now received excellent support from skipper Paul Collingwood. The pair put on an unbeaten partnership of 67 to swing the match back towards the visitors. Jennings also hit his first maximum, as he reached the close on 88 not out. Collingwood unbeaten on 26, Durham reaching stumps on 154 for four. They need 84 more runs to win, Warwickshire requires six wickets.